Hey, what's up guys, it's me Dhyukachu and welcome back to another Minecraft Return Tutorial. And today I'm gonna showcase a very small and fast 2x2 hipster door design. <laughs> yes, I know it doesn't really look like a hipster door since, you know, there's some visible redstone. But if, you know, assuming that your house has a wall, otherwise, what are you doing? Get a wall, creepers are gonna... I mean, not cre well, creepers would bust your house anyways, <laughs> but they wouldn't know that you're there. <laughs> And, I mean, yeah, assuming that you have a wall and floor, yeah, it should be hidden. And it's very, as I said, very compact, very fast. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this one. So, without further ado, let's get on with the showcase. Okay, so here's the design, as you can see, very small for the octane's time. <laughs> and, as, and here's the closing, very fast. And here's the opening, also very fast. And yeah, that's pretty much the design. And as you, if that's and what's you might ask, what's the point of having a hipster door when you can just make a regular two by two piston door that barely takes up any redstone? Well, in this case, if I replace these iron blocks with the blocks I'm using for the frame, that is white concrete, as you can see, it, it, some people won't even know that there's a door there. They just assume, oh, this is a doorless home. Pointless, <laughs> and then you can just surprise other people by you know, except you know, opening the door and going like ah, <laughs> and there isn't much of a home here. I'm homeless, <laughs> and yeah, that's that's pretty cool about this design. Or if even if you you know w just want to show others where the door is and save them some hassle, say on a server, then you know you can just keep some other blocks that look cool, and yeah, that's pretty much how it looks like. And, you know, that's all I've got here to showcase. So without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so to make this amazing 2x2 hipster door, you'll be needing 4 blocks for your door, 6 sticky pistons, 6 observers, 4 redstone torches, 19 pieces of redstone dust, 13 redstone repeaters, a dropper, and 36 blocks to place your redstone on. Okay, so to make this amazing design, you want to first take a block a line of four blocks the blocks you're using for your door like this and then you want to go a block up from each of these ends another block up a third block up and then two blocks like uh, connect them you know like this and this is going to be your actual frame now for as for the piston layout you want to go you want to place exactly two sticky pistons facing upwards underneath these two blocks that's some lag for no reason that's absolutely <laughs> and that's to, to a bit of the layout done and then you want to go out two blocks like that remove this block and place in a sticky piston facing into this block and you want to repeat the same thing here so two two out remove that and a sticky piston facing into the block and that is the layout and now comes the dropper time you want to take your dropper first off you want to take go two blocks out remove this block and place in your observer now remo you can remove this block and yes there's going to be a fire, bit of firing so you want to bl bring that back down now uh, and you know just remove that <laughs> yeah remove those two for now and place in your just dropper like so oh come on <laughs> like so i mean either way it would have been fine and then you want to crouch, and let's try. Oh my god, man. <laughs> I really wish we could crouch and, you know, pocket it and shit. And place a lever on it. Like so. And again, on, if you want, another lever on the other side. Now what you want to do is place a bit of, uh, again, co come anywhere, go anywhere, crouch, and place some redstone dust on top of that dropper. And then you want to, uh, you want a repeater going off of the redstone line on, on the observer. And you want to click it once, twice, and thrice, so it's on 4 tick delay. Now, you want to, again, go uh, to place temporary block, place another block, remove the temporary block. And you want to place in your re repeater coming off of the dropper, and set it on 4 tick delay. Again, click it thrice. Click it, tap it, whatever. <laughs> if whatever you're doing on Bedrock Edition nowadays. And then you want to go up a block, as you can see, like that. And then you want to place your redstone torch. And then you want to place another block on top of the redstone torch. And you want to place 
a, a redstone torch here so it should turn it off and we kind of want to do the same thing here not exactly the same thing and now you want to place in a block there another bl temporary block a block here remove the temporary block and place an observer now go down a block and remove this other temporary block again that'll fire I'll and then you want to uh, place some dust from dust here it's gonna fire and rest from dust here and a repeater set to four ticks now if you want now why am i not using the same design over here that's because for some reason it was causing some issues with the extension and that's why i'm using this design over here now you want to come down a block another block so place a temporary block a block out remove that temporary block and place a repeater on four tick delay like so you want to go uh, place a temporary block place another block remove that temporary block and what <laughs> oh, oh no <laughs> okay <laughs> that was embarrassing place a torch like so place another block and place in one of your redstone dust so as you can see the redstone dust stays on you want to place a temporary block another block on top remove that temporary block and place in a torch so as you can see the torch turns off now what you want to do is go a block down like so from the dropper so you know a temporary block there a block another here plus you want to place in redstone dust that's going all the way to this observer like so so first off place your blocks and place in redstone dust everywhere but under this block i'll tell you what to do and lastly you can punch this block out and you want to take it down one block like so and you want to place in your redstone dust otherwise you know this observer is going to hard power this block and that block is going to power this redstone line and you don't want that happening so that's kind of your it's that's all of your extension done yes really it's, if i activate this as you can see all the blocks extend if i deactivate this two of the blocks retract now what about the rest of it for that we need to activate my retract only double piston extender so for that you want to come out a block like this and hold on <laughs> I, I keep forgetting what's okay <laughs> you want to come a block off of it like so go two blocks out place in one of your repeaters i'm fearing i'm doing it wrong no i'm not like uh i whenever I, when i was practicing all of this i was always like I'm doing something wrong. I'm definitely doing something wrong. So yeah, two blocks like that, and then redstone dust on top of them, two, and two more blocks, and another two blocks. Now you want to place it. Be careful, otherwise you, if you mess this up, it's not going to work. Two repeaters, and the one on the right has to be on two tick delay. And then another repeater going sideways. You want to, And then you want to place in some redstone dust. We cool? We cool good <laughs> and then you want to make an, a T Tetris shape like this twice and once more and then you want to punch out this block actually actually you don't want to punch out that block yet you want to place in three blocks here and then you can punch this block out this block out and this block out and then you want to place in a repeater set to four ticks and a repeater set to two ticks and then you want to place some redstone dust here. And now what you want to do is come to these two pistons and place in two blocks like this, two repeaters, and two observers like facing upwards from that repeater. And you want to make sure your some of your blocks on which you're gonna you know stand are in place. So like so, as you can see. Otherwise this thing will not work. And then you want to come to the other side and place in two observers here and two blocks on uh, right there, two pieces of redstone dust, and and two repeaters. You have to keep the repeaters or else the ex extension won't work. And then finally, all you have to do is go place a temporary block, a block up, remove that temporary block, and a bit of redstone dust, and then another block. And then another piece of redstone dust. And that, my friends, is it. And if I flick this lever, as you can see, full extension. Flick this again, full retraction. And obviously you can just cover all this up. So I'll quickly cover it up, like so. 
as you can see, the wall covers up wall and floor, you know, takes care of most of the covering up, like so. And no one would even know that there's actual, actually some redstone that's visible. Again, I'll quickly do this. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna pause. <laughs> I'm gonna make you all suffer. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'll play some music too. Boop, 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 boop. That was the worst. That's what. I mean, I know that's the worst music ever. <laughs> and yes, if I cover this up, as you can see, none of the redstone is visible, and only the piston action is visible. As you can see, retraction. And for some of you who might um, be following me on my Twitter, you might actually know that I showcased this. I showed this design uh, over on Twitter. So if you're not following me yet. Follow me on Twitter at the rate TVKachuYT. No spaces and the T and TVKachu and YT, YNT and YT are capital. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Enjoy and thanks a lot for watching. And subscribe if you want more of this. Like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one, which I have no idea what's, what it's going to be again. <laughs> so yeah, see ya.